Good morning, everybody. Uh, my name is Farhan Mazar, and today is eighth December two thousand and twenty. The day is Tuesday, and right now I am with the ten Cambridge class, and uh, the subject we are studying is physics five zero five four. And today, uh, our main task is because we have completed the chapter of sound. Now today we are practicing its uh, amplitudes. So the my students can get a know how what kind of questions come in paper. So let's start. It's a small uh, worksheet, and the special thing about this worksheet is this worksheet is not created by me. This worksheet I have taken from a website. The name of the website is SaveMyExam.co.uk. So this is the courtesy of that website. So we are taking this worksheet from there. Uh, SaveMyExam.co.uk and So the first question on your screen, I hope is uh, let me increase the size. Okay, so it's easy. The chapter is easy. It's uh, uh, questions are easy. Only one thing is it will have numericals which are related with the echo and the with the ultrasound. So we will practice them. So an intruder alarm is adjusted to give a quieter sound without affecting the pitch of the note. How are the amplitude and the frequency of the sound affected? Quieter sound without affecting the pitch. If the loudness is decreased, when you decrease the loudness, you actually lower the amplitude. You lower the amplitude when the loudness is decreased. And when there is no change, in the pitch, it means there is no change in the frequency. So the amplitude, when you lower the voice, the amplitude decreases. When you make the volume uh, higher, the amplitude of the sound wave increases. So the amplitude and the frequency is unchanged. And the pitch is unaffected. So it means the frequency will not change. So what do you think is the choice? B part. B part. The amplitude should lower and the frequency should remain the same. Yes, sir. The choice is B. Oh, it cannot highlight. Okay. So the B is the right choice. So the next question on your screen is, in which situation do sound waves not travel? From a satellite in space to Earth? From a ship to a submarine, from an explosion underground to the ground, through a balloon filled with helium gas. You see, uh, the sound waves are mechanical waves. They are longitudinal waves. They are mechanical waves. They require medium to travel. So if there is no medium, they cannot travel. So from a satellite in the space to Earth, they cannot travel because in the space, they, there is vacuum. So the sound waves will not be able to travel. So what is the choice? A part. In which A part is the right answer, sir. So A is the right answer. This is the actual answer, okay? So let's move to question number three. Two sound waves, X and Y, are compared. X has a greater frequency. Y has a greater amplitude. If it has a greater frequency, uh, it means that it will have a shrill sound. It pitch will be higher. And the Y has a greater amplitude. It means it will be loud. Okay. So how does the loudness and the pitch of the sound Y compares to those of the X? Because the Y has a greater amplitude. So it will be louder. And its pitch will be lower. Because it has less frequency as compared to the sound X. Sound X has higher pitch. Higher frequency. So the sound Y will be louder because of the larger or greater amplitude. And it will have low pitch because of the less frequency. So what do you think is the choice? B part. B is the right answer, sir. You understand? Yes. Okay, the next question on your screen. Question number four. 
a musical sir, note sir, sir. sir one more question yes, that yes, is it necessary sir is it necessary that when the um, loudness or the amplitude is greater the frequency would be lesser or lower is it necessary no no not at all no okay, not at all a musical note is produced by two sources the pulse is produced by each source on the screen of a cathode ray oscilloscope cro are shown below what is the difference between the sounds if you look at their mean positions if if i can take this uh, let me take out the snip tools so i can show you exactly what i mean snip this is the main position check here the amplitude is this the amplitude is this this is the amplitude the amplitude is same time period is also same both the waves have the same amplitude both the waves at the same time period which means they will have the same frequency which means they will have the same pitch they have the same amplitude which means they will have the same loudness but one thing is different in each of them their basic shape of the wave is not same the shape this is very smooth but it has some ups and downs their basic shape is different different from each other due to this what happens there is a characteristic to the sound which we call quality so what is the difference between them their amplitude is same the frequency is same the pitch will be the same the loudness will be the same the one thing which will be different that will be the quality so the choice will be the choice is d, d. the quality okay no okay sir okay so the Excuse next question on the screen number 5 and sir was unable to understand that sir was unable to understand that why we how we were able to measure the frequency and that amplitude this on the cro screen the x axis that represents time period and i just have drawn it with my free hand you can see the time period for both, both the waves is same this yes sir vertical thing represents the amplitude and they are almost same hmm okay. got it sir that's why they have the same amplitude they have the same time period the time period is same frequency is 1 by t reciprocal of the time period so the frequency is same their pitch is same their amplitude is same their loudness is same the basic shape of the waves is different from each other that's why we say they have the that thing is called the quality so the, the quality is different got it sir An echo sounder produces ultrasound of frequency twenty four kilohertz. The ultrasound travels in water at a speed of one point five kilometer per second. What is the wavelength of the water of ultrasound in this frequency? Let me do this. Let me take out the paint so I can write it there. Okay. So the information given to me is the frequency is given twenty four kilohertz, and the speed of the sound is one point five kilometer per second. The dis the wavelength is in meters. The wavelength given is in meters. Okay, so let's do this. Okay. 
לא יודע... V is equal to F lambda. V equal F lambda. If you want to find out the lambda, the formula will become V divided by F. Now the value of the velocity, the value of the velocity is 1.5 kilometer. So 1.5 kilometer per second, kilometer per second, kilometer per second. You know if 1.5 kilometer per second. If you want to convert it into meter per second, you simply multiply it with 1000. Because in one kilometer, there are 1000 meters. So I will multiply 1.5 with 1000. So it will convert into 1500. So it will be 1500. It's funny handwriting. <laughs> and the frequency is 24 kilohertz. So it will be 24,000 basically. You have calculator? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, the so answer, answer is 1500 it's divided by 24,000. 0. 0.63. 0. 625. 0 0.06. 0.06 and 3 meter. 0 0.06. Okay, let's check the answer. It's 24,000 So the choice will be A. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you understand? Okay. So it's good. Okay. Next question. A loudspeaker produces a sound wave of frequency 50 hertz. The amplitude of the sound wave is increased. What is heard? They have not changed the frequency. They have increased the amplitude. And you know, when we increase the amplitude, the loudness will increase when you increase the amplitude of the sound wave it affects the loudness so you will hear a sound which is louder but they have not changed the frequency so the pitch will remain the same what is the answer yes, b part a louder sound of the same pitch yes sir b part you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. okay. An ultrasound scanner produces an image of an unborn baby. How does the scanner form an image? The ultrasounds, we have a transmitter, we have a receiver. The ultrasounds are produced and they are reflected from the tissues and the receiver makes the image. So the ultrasounds are basically reflected from the tissues of the fetus. How does the scanner form an image? From ultrasound absorbed by the baby? Reflected by the baby. By the baby from ultrasound <laughs> reflected by the baby. From C ultrasound part. refracted by the baby. Yes. What do you say? C part. Which part? C. From ultrasound C. reflected by the baby. The ultrasound are reflected. Yes. That's the, that yes. is the basic science of that uh, ultrasound. You understand? 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So here we go. Next question. The sound from the siren of a ship is reflected by a pair. An echo is heard by a sailor on the deck of the ship four seconds after the siren is sounded. The speed of the sound in air is 320 meter per second. How far from the cliff is the ship? Okay, so try to understand this numerical. This is the main kind of numericals which will be showing up in your paper. Okay. So basically what is happening, we have a ship here. Here we have a cliff. Here is a cliff. Okay. And here is water. Is water. And in that water, we have a ship. Okay. So here we have a ship. And that ship is producing a voice. It is producing sound wave. So what will happen? The sound waves, once its, heart, its siren is on, the sound wave will go to the cliff and then it will come back. Okay? The sound wave will go to the cliff. From there, it will be reflected and it will come back. Suppose this distance is D. So the sound wave will travel D distance in going to the cliff and then it will again cover D distance in coming back. Okay, you understand this thing? When you hear an echo, the sound which was originally produced, it will go to the cliff, it will cover distance D and from there reflected and come back to you again it will cover distance d and you will hear the echo so if the distance between the ship and the cliff is d the sound in four seconds has traveled how much d plus d 2d okay so let's try this you know the distance capital d is equals to speed divide this. Right. so the speed is given to you how much is the speed given that is 320 meter 320 meter per second and how much is the time four second four echo that's four seconds just multiply them 320 multiply 4. Sir, 1,280. 1,000. Sorry, say again. 1,280. 1, 1,280. 1, okay. Now, this is the distance with the sound, that echo, the sound wave travel. So, this is that distance in which the sound went to the cliff and came back. But the question is not this. The question is, what is the distance between the ship and the cliff? So the small d, which was the distance, that will be equal to half of this distance. This is the distance which the sound wave traveled. So it will be 1, 2, 8, 0 divided by 2. On your calculator, kindly do this calculation. 640. 640. So the distance between the ship and the cliff is 640 meter. Okay. 640 meter. Let's check. Do we have this answer here? Yeah. Yes, sir. C part. So the C is the right answer. Okay. C is the. Do you understand this question? It's very important. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, okay. 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 So now we move to the next question. That's question number nine. 
compressions and rare fractions are sent out from a loudspeaker cone as it vibrates backwards and forwards. The frequency of vibration is 50 hertz. A compression, you can see here, this is the speaker. The speaker you must have seen. And it's, this is diaphragm of the speaker. It moves the cone of the speaker, which moves forward, backward. A compression is at a point P. How much time lapses before the next rare fraction arrives at P? He's saying the frequency is given to you. You know, the frequency is given. That's 50 hertz. So let me do this for you. Okay. So... You know that the freak, the time period, how much is, time period is basically 1 by F. 1 by F. The frequency is given. 50 hertz. So divide it with the 51 because the value of the F is 50. Please get me the answer. 1 divided by 50, what will be the answer? 0 0.02 0 0.02 0 0.02 second that's the time period okay now very remember this thing the time period is 0 0.02 second it means if there is compression after 0 0.02 second another compression will arrive here that's a complete wave. Compression and compression. That's a complete wave. So 0 0.02 second time period means if at point P right now we have a compression. So after 0 0.02 second, the next compression will arrive there. A complete wave. But his statement is not this. His statement is little trickier. Look at here what he says. A compression is at the point P. How much time elapses before the next rare fraction? Rise at P. He's not talk, talking about the next compression. He's saying next rare fraction. So if there is a compression here, when the next rare fraction will arrive here, it will be half the wavelength. It will be half the wave. So the time period will be half. How much time it will take? It will 0 take half the time period. Your time period was 0 0.02 seconds. So it will take half the time period and that will be 0 0.01 second. So A is the choice. This is the choice, sir. So sir, if we have a frequency, we will do 1 divided by time. Kar 1 divided by time. Sorry, I, I did not get your. Sir, I asked that if we have a frequency, we will do time. Ki jaga, hum one divided by time, kar denge, jo time diya hoga, frequency. Yes, 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 that's the relationship between the time period and the frequency. F is equal to 1 by T, and T is equal to 1 by F. If you know the frequency, you can find out the time period, and if you know the time period, you can find out the frequency. The only precaution is the time period must, must, must be in seconds. Okay? Should we move? Sir, you said that the time period is in seconds. So, in seconds, when we are dividing the solution, we will divide the time period in seconds. We will divide the time period in seconds. We will divide the time period in seconds. If you have the time period, that must be in seconds before you put into that formula. Okay, sir. So, we will convert the time period in seconds. If we have a minute or hour, we will divide the time period in seconds. Yeah. Formula yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, question number 10. Which statement about the speed of sound is correct? Sound, remember, about the speed, the behavior of the speed of the sound is different from the behavior of the light. Uh, sound will so be... be sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Whereas the light will be slowest in solids. So the behavior of light and sound is different in this regard. Because so sound travels vibrations sound. travel. Yes, because the sound travels by the vibrations. Sound travels fastest in a vacuum. 
That's wrong. Sound cannot travel in a vacuum. Sound travel faster than gases. That's wrong. Sound travel faster than liquid. That is also wrong. Sound travels faster than solids. That's right. That is perfectly right answer. So what is the choice, sir? D bird. B is the right answer. So the next one. Is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Next question, question number 11. Which frequency is in the ultrasound range? Ultrasound is the uh, those sound waves whose frequency is more than 20,000 hertz. Whose frequency is more than 20,000 hertz. So what is the option? D. D, 35,000 hertz. That is more than 20,000 hertz. More than the... Its, it's frequency is more than the audible frequency range, so that's why this is called ultrasound. So D is the choice, question number 11, okay? In an experiment to determine the speed of sound in air, a student stands 200 meters away from a cliff and claps two pieces of wood together. His classmate standing next to him start stopwatches when the two pieces of wood meet and stop the stopwatches when they hear the echo. Their times are 1.44 second, 1.70 second, 1.58 second, and 1.76 seconds. They did it uh, four times. Which value for the speed of sound do they obtain? Okay, so let me do this here. Okay, so first of all, I will take the average time. Oh, oh. Average time. So how you will take the average time? You will add up uh, these uh, times. You know the one, on your calculator, kindly do this calculation. 1.44 plus 1.70 plus 1.58 plus... 1.76. I will close the bracket and then I will divide it with the 4. So, can you get me the answer? Yeah. What is the average time? 1.6. D, what is the average time? So, 1.62. 1.62. Seconds. That's the average time. Okay. So the next part is uh, the distance between the boy and the cliff is 200 meters. So the sound wave, when they clap, uh, two good pieces together. So the sound will have to travel 200 meters from there to the cliff. And then 200 meters it has to cover to come back and they will hear the echo. So the speed sound equal wave has to cover 400 meters. You know the speed is equal to the distance traveled by the sound wave divided by the time taken by the sound wave to travel. So the distance traveled 200 meter in going to the cliff and 200 meter in coming back. So the total distance is 400 meter divided by the time taken. The average time is 1.62. You have the calculator. So please do the calculation. Get me the answer. 400 divided by 1.62. 247 meter per second. 247 meter per second. This is the answer? Yes, sir. Okay, so the choice will be C. Do you understand this numerical? Hello? Yes, sir. I don't get the sound is internet I was I was not able to hear you because your voice was going up and down due to internet. 
यस सर सर मैं कह रहा था कि वो मैंने पहले गलत कर दी थी लेकिन फिर मुझे आपकी बात समझ आई थी कि पहले ट्रैवल करती है फिर बाउंस होके वापस भी आती है इसलिए हमें ये याद रखना होगा ये बड़ी चीज है जिसकी वजह से मिस्टेक हो सकती है पेपर के अंदर ये मैंने अभी गलत कर दिया था टाइम्स The speed of the sound is three twenty meter per second. What is the distance? This the kind of same, a little bit different, but basically same question. Okay. So first of all, I will take the average time. So the average time. You know how to find the average time? You add up all the five times and get the answer. Then divide by two. Right. Yes, calculators Average time. It takes so long. Sir, average time is zero point seven four four. Zero point seven four four seconds. Okay. So, and they have given us the speed of the sound. So, the distance which the sound travels that will be equals to speed of the sound multiply the time taken. Okay. So. The speed of the sound is three twenty meter per second. Multiple time taken is zero point seven four four. And get me the answer. Three twenty multiplied zero point seven four four equals to two thirty eight meters. Two sorry, two thirty eight meter. But this is not the distance between the boy and the cliff. This is the distance with the sound travel. The sound so went to the cliff. Then, and then. Yes. So the small d is equals to two thirty eight divided by two. So we will get the answer. Yes, sir. Two thirty eight divided by two. One twenty sir. Oh, got two forty. And I'll closest value is left. A part of answer. So two thirty eight divided by approximately one twenty will be the answer. Okay. Two thirty eight. Uh, it will be one one and nine. So the distance is one one nine meter. Approximately one hundred nineteen meters. So the closest answer here is one twenty meters. So A will be the choice. Do you understand? The next question: Ultrasound. Ultrasound has many uses. For what are ultrasound waves used? Killing cancerous cells, prenatal scanning, sunbeds, or telephones. Sir, prenatal scanning? What is it? 
the most famous uh, is the prenatal scanning you know the the, the mothers who are uh, are pregnant and the doctors are yes, scanning using the ultrasound they get the image of the baby in the womb you understand yes sir samajh aa gayi wo naam se imply ho raha tha ki kuch aur hai we call it prenatal scanning that's ultrasound in street language we say ultrasound you must have heard this word yes sir the people who are the appendix also they also uh, ultrasound is performed on them yes sir wo sath ye kehte main ultrasound karwane ja raha hu is tarah kuch yes 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 okay the question number 15 He says, "Which range is approximate range of audible frequencies for a human? Human audibility is from twenty to twenty thousand hertz. So what's the choice? So C simple. part. C is the choice. Okay. Okay. This the question number sixteen is on your screen. Which row correctly?" compares the speeds of sound in air liquid and solid he is talking about the speed of the sound highest speed of the sound will be in a solid and the lowest speed will be in a gas in air d part so what is the a part d d d d d part i'm talking about Yes, sir. D part. Okay, so the D is the right answer. The sound travel fastest in the solids and the lowest in the air. A guitar string is made to vibrate. What makes the pitch of the note rise? If you want to change the pitch, you need to change the frequency. If you want to pitch to rise, the frequency should increase. If you want pitch to lower, the frequency should decrease. Here they want the pitch rise, so the frequency should increase. So D part. The frequency should increase. So D is the right choice. An increase in the frequency of vibration. D is the right answer. Okay, on your screen, question number eighteen. What is the possible frequency of an ultrasound wave? D part of it, sir. Ultrasound should have a frequency which is more than twenty k. K means kilo. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand. Twenty k hertz. So, what's the choice? So, sir, it would be D, D part. D because hertz. D is the right answer because thirty k. Thirty k means thirty thousand. It's more than twenty thousand. Twenty k. It's more than twenty k. The graph shows how the pressure varies as the sound wave passes through the air. Which point represents a compression? You know, here the pressure is shown. Here the time is shown. when the compression arrives at a place the pressure becomes maximum whatever is the maximum c so part at, so here the pressure why the pressure is not maximum at point b yes the sir b is the y axis so the pressure at the compression is maximum so where is that point pressure is maximum so what's the sir, choice b. B part. B is at the highest pressure, so there it represents the compression. Ah uh, yes, sir. If C के ऊपर तो आराम से flow के नीचे जा रही होगी direct, आराम से. This is not a diagram of a wave. It is a pressure time graph. It is a pressure time graph representing the pressure against the time. when a sound wave travels from a medium so when the compression arrives the pressure at that moment on that point will be maximum 
so the maximum pressure is represented by b don't confuse it with a diagram of a wave it's not a diagram of a wave it's a graph between pressure and time compression is where the pressure is maximum at point b you can see check its value on the y axis which is the maximum value in that wave have the highest pressure okay yes sir you got it yes sir. yes sir okay so let me reduce the size of this okay the sound produced by two musical instruments are directed towards a microphone connected to an oscilloscope the waveforms produced on the screen are shown the waveforms show that the sound produced have a different property what is that property if you check carefully uh the time period for this wave you can count on the on on this uh, one let's say one two and half two and a half is the time period for this wave one two and half Two and a half squares used on the x-axis for this wave, and then again the wave starts again. Second wave starts. So the time period of those both these waves is same. If the time period is both of both these waves is same, that means the frequency is same. Now check the amplitude. This this is the mean position of this wave. So one square it is going up, and one square it is going down. So amplitude is one square. It goes one square up from the mean position. The mean position of this wave is how much? Let's see. If this is the mean position, if this I take as the mean position, it goes two uh, squares up. Where should be the mean? But sir, they haven't given us the option of amplitude. They don't have the amplitude same. Okay, their amplitude is same. Their amplitude is same. The frequency is same. Their amplitude is different from each other. Okay, the options given the waveform shows that the sound produced have different property. What is the property? Frequency. Their frequency is not different. Their time period is same. Their frequency is same. Their speed. We don't know their speed is same or not. We we are not sure because from this from the CRO, uh, this is a displacement. Time graph. It's a very important point. It's a displacement time graph. So I cannot. I I can only get amplitude and the time period, and by calculation I can get the frequency from the CRO. I cannot predict what is its wavelength from here directly. So speed, I don't know. Timber quality. Uh, obviously, their quality is different from each other. The wavelength from this, the from the graph of the Of the CRO, you can find out time period and you can find the amplitude. You cannot find the wavelength. So the one thing which is clearly different in them, the basic shape of their waves is different from each other. That is different, definitely different. The so, frequency is not different. We know for sure. Speed we cannot conclude from here from CRO CRO screen, and the wavelength we cannot conclude from the CRO screen. From the CRO screen, the graph of the wave, you can only find out the time period, the amplitude, and from the time period by calculation, you can find out the frequency. You cannot find. Sir, तो अगर हमें ना दिया हो कुछ तो इस तरह के आते हैं कि उसके अगर हमें पता भी हो कि कुछ different है और बाकी values ना दी गई हो तो हमें जो option सबसे ज़रा नज़र आ रही थी तरह से और ज़रा सबसे ज़रा वो है एक तरह से. Different, the clear, the profound difference between those these two waves. Is the basic shape is different? You can look at that. So sir, if sir, the basic shape is different, because different because 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 Okay. Uh, let me. 
increase the size. Okay. This is question number 21. Two campers are woken up in the middle of the night by a thunderstorm. Their tent is lit up by a flash of light and they hear the thunderclap. Five seconds later, the speed of sound is 340 meters per second. How far away from the tent is lightning? This is not a case of echo. Do you understand? This is not a yes, case sir. of echo. Somewhere a thunderstorm, a flash happened, and they, they saw the flash, and after five seconds, they heard the sound. So it's not about echo. Okay? It's simple. So the distance between them and where the thunder is happening that will be equals to the speed of the sound multiply the time taken by the sound so speed is how much speed is given 340 meter per second and how much time is taken by the sound wave to reach them that's five seconds you have calculated with you do this question 340 multiply five there's 1700 1700 1700 sir 1700 is done so your choice is simple so what's the choice c part c is the choice okay so we still have questions in this. Uh, today I will complete it with the other class. And with yours, uh, with this session, we are able to complete 21 questions of this worksheet. So I hope, hope that uh, by doing these questions and you are able to you are able to understand the basic concepts which were taught in that chapter. And you will be able to do the theory theoretical questions as well. So that's it. Thank you very much and have a good day. The rest of the part of this uh, worksheet we will do in another lesson. So thank you very much. Have a good day and God bless you all.